Hello everyone. Welcome to SCNC1111 Excel Tutorial 4. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use count if functions and wildcard characters in Excel. Before that, let's do a quick recap. So you have learned a lot of functions in the previous tutorials, including sum function, average function, and three count functions. The normal count function will tell you how many cells in the range that contain numbers. The count a function will tell you how many cells in the range that have contents or not empty. The count blank function will tell you how many cells in the range that are empty. However, sometimes you may want to find the number of cells in the range that have some specific patterns. And you cannot do it by the knowledge you've learned so far. That's why we would like to introduce a very powerful count if functions. It would take in two arguments or two inputs. The first input is the range of cell. The second input is the criteria. So the count if function will tell you how many cells in the range contains the criteria. The criteria can be a number, a text, a date, or anything else. Perhaps you're a bit confused right now, so let's work on an example. Suppose you're opening up a food truck, and the food truck sells three types of food. The hamburger for $30, the french fries for $20, the coke for $10. And this is the sales record of the food truck today. And you want to find how many hamburgers, french fries, and coke have you sold today. This task can be done quite easily using the counted functions. So just, so just type equal count if, open parenthesis. Remember, all the functions in Excel are capitalized. However, Excel is very smart. So even if you type in lower letter count if, it can know that you are calling the counted functions. So the first argument is the range. Let me select the range from A2 to A41. And the second argument is the criteria. Now I want to find the total number of hamburger appeared in this range. So I just type in hamburger here. Close parenthesis and click enter. And I got the answer. So you can also apply the same technique to find the total number of french fries sold today. Equal count if open parenthesis, the range is from A2 to A41, and the criteria is French fries. But you don't want to type it because it's so long. So you can select this cell and close parenthesis. So Excel will find the total number of cells among the range A2 to A41 that have the same content as the cell F3. Click return and you got the answer. You can use the same idea for the Coke one. So type in Coke and you got the answer. So we have just used a text as the criteria for the count if function. However, we can also use number as the criteria for count if functions. As we know, a hamburger cost $30. So we can use equal count if. Now we use the price column. So now we use the price column. And the criteria is $30. So the criteria now is a number. After clicking return, you've got the same result. You can apply the same thing for french fries and coke. The range is from B2 to B41, and the price for french fries is $20. You can apply the same thing for coke. The range is from B2 to B41, and the price of the coke is $10. So you got the result. This is how you use some basic count if functions. However, sometimes you may encounter some slightly more complicated examples. For example, in our case too, your food trucks is very successful and you want to introduce two new types of burgers, cheeseburgers and fish burgers. So your food truck sells five types of food, hamburger, cheeseburger, fish burger, french fries, and coke. Suppose you want to find the total number of burger sales today. By using the knowledge we've learned so far, you can write down three count if functions for hamburger, cheeseburger, and fish burger individually. And the total number of burger can be just calculated by adding this three cell. However, this is a correct method, but not an efficient method. Say you have 100 different types of burgers. You need to write 100 different count if functions. It is not very efficient, right? So is there a quicker method for us to find the total number of burger sales? Yes. 
Excel provides us with a very powerful wildcard characters. There are three of them. The first one is a star. It will match any character for any length. For example, a pH star can represent words like pH, phone, philosophy, and any word start with a pH. So what if we use it with our counted functions, say equals count if a range with a pH star? So you find the total number of cells within the range that start with pH. Please be reminded that this only applies to text, but not numbers. So back to our example, we can simply write equal count if open parenthesis, select the range A2 to A41, and for the criteria. Observe that hamburger, cheeseburger, fishburger, they're all something plus a burger. So we can just write a star burger, close parenthesis. And we got the same result as adding this free cell. So the Excel will understand it. You want to find the number of cells among the range A2 to A41 that is something, any character for any length, ends with burger. So that's how we got the same answer. Now let's consider our third case. In this case, our food trucks sell different five types of food. Hamburger, cheese hamburger, X and ham, french fries, and coke. So we want to find the total number of ham cells. And there's three types of food containing ham. Hamburger, cheese hamburger, X and ham. So we can apply the same knowledge. Equal, count if, open parenthesis, the range A2 to A41, and the criteria. So observe that the ham may be appeared in the front of the text, at the middle of the text, or at the end of the text. So we can just type star, ham, star, close parenthesis, and click enter, and we got the result. So Excel will understand it like you want the number of cells in the range containing ham in their contact. So for the star here, it would represent any character for any length. So even if there's no character, it means the length is zero, it will also match it. So this expression can match hamburger correctly. That's cool. So let's move on to our last example today. Suppose you're the boss of a factory, and your factory produces two types of products with code AKD1234 star and AKD1234. Well, say AKD1234 star is like a iPhone Pro Max and AKD1234 is like a normal iPhone. Yeah, you got the idea. So you want to find the total number of products with the code AKD1234 star. Naively, you may think that you can simply write equal, count if, open parenthesis, select the range, comma, and write down the criteria AKD1234 with a star and close parenthesis. But what would this function give you? It will give you seven, but not four. One, two, three, four. Why is that the case? Because Excel will understand that you want the number of cells to start with AKD1234 and any character for any length. So for this cell, even if it starts for AKD1234 with a blank character, so it's with any character with zero length, it will also be matched by this function. So how can we just want to match a literal star instead of any character for any length? Thankfully, Excel have the second wildcard characters called the tilde. The tilde will give the following character an exception. So a tilde star will match the literal star. The pH tilde star must represent the word pH star. And the pH tilde tilde must represent the word pH tilde. So we can apply it to our count if function. We simply write the tilde here. So the tilde star will match the literal star. And AKD1234 tilde star will match AKD1234 with a literal star. Clicking return and you got the correct answer. I hope this video is helpful, and let me leave you with two exercises. The first exercise is to write two counted functions that do the same thing as count blank and count a functions. Well, you may need to use count functions as well. The second exercise is to Google search the last wildcard character, the question mark, and learn how to use it. I will give you the answer to the first question in three seconds. Please pause here if you want to find it yourself. Three, Two, one, okay. So the count blank function can be replaced by count if the same range with a blank character here. The count a function can be replaced by count if the range comma with a star. So it will match any characters for any length, but it will only match the text. 
and you need to add back the count range. It will count the cells containing number because the star will not represent numbers, as I just mentioned in the previous slides. So that's how you do a count blank function and count a function in a counted function style. And I hope this video is helpful and see you next time.